Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about octave bands. You hear that term a lot in acoustics. Let's break it down into its separate components, see if we can get an understanding of it. Octave bands is composed of individual frequencies. So we have our standard groupings here, 63, 125, 250, 500. Those are the standard octave bands that we see. A lot of our test results are, are based upon those particular octave bands. Um, a lot of your sound transmission ratings that we get, STC ratings on materials and barriers, are based on just those particular groupings. So it's a group of frequencies into bands that have upper and lower limits. So we'll talk about that. So it has a lower and an upper limit to it. So, And what do octave bands do? They allow for a definition of loudness across the frequency spectrum. So when you look at your RTA and you're doing a third octave, a, a sixth octave, a twelfth octave a resolution, then you can kind of see how each group reacts in terms of strength and amplitude. So it's a way to measure the loudness across the frequency band that really contains these elements, so these frequencies. So that's what we have to look at. So we have 125, if we choose 125 as our octave band, we know that our next octave band is 2 times that, or 250. 2 times 250 is 500, 2 times 500 is 1,000, and so forth. So it's a doubling of that. Now, we have to realize that each octave band has an upper and lower limit. Okay, so the 250 has a lower limit of 177, and an upper limit of 354, and then the 250 is right in the middle. So it gives you a, an idea of how they break down these octave bands, but it's just a simpler way to look at frequencies that kind of are related and, and act at the same uh, situations, act the same way in terms of loudness. So it's a really a simplified way. Those of you that have used our uh, apps that are on uh, that we that you download for your iPhone to do noise measurements know that we have an FFT function on those apps and that function allows you to see individual frequencies within the octave band so it's another higher resolution format so to speak to look at the frequencies within the octave band so octave bands individual it's a grouping of individual frequencies that have upper and lower limits it's all about loudness, amplitude, strength in, into those groupings. And there's the upper and lower limits that we went through. Let's look at some examples of bass, tenor, alto, and soprano, because I think this will help us clarify octave bands a little bit and the ranges with which they operate. So we have bass, a real low bass voice that people have, 250 to 300 hertz range. Tenor voice, 125 to 500. Alto is 150 to 750, and soprano is 250 to 1000. So you can see that there's ranges to the octave bands, and that's what we talked about originally in it. So I hope this helps. Remember, octave bands are just a way to group a bunch of frequencies together so we can look at groupings instead of individual frequencies. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. Our room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book a appointment with us, but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will I'll actually answer your questions and, and comments, so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So once again, thank you for your support.